To The Point with Michael Williams. Good morning, Florida Atlantic University looking for a new president. Three finalists picked by a search committee waiting in the wings for interviews, or so we thought or think, not sure right now. Their search ground to a halt this past week after the chancellor for the State University System Board of Governors, who also happens to be a former Republican state lawmaker, cited concerns about the process. And then came word last Thursday the search process will remain suspended pending an investigation. Concerns, legitimate ones, or a political power play? WPTV's Stephanie Suskind first with an overview. Just who will be the next occupant of the Baldwin House? The campus residence for the FAU president hangs in the balance after a letter from the chancellor of the Florida State University System Board of Governors. It says, quote, this office has received concerning information regarding anomalies that have been alleged in the Florida Atlantic University presidential search. It refers to a straw poll conducted for search committee members to rank their top candidates that may not have followed protocol. The letter also questions a survey sent to candidates asking about their gender and preferred pronouns. It calls those questions wholly irrelevant, inappropriate, and potentially illegal. In response, FAU Board of Trustees Chair Brad Levine said the university did not authorize that questionnaire from the search firm and would be taking appropriate and aggressive action to address it. He also said, quote, our search process has complied with all legal requirements and been conducted in a proper manner. He said he was anxious to provide information to clarify any misconceptions. The exchange comes just days after the university announced its three finalists for the job. Notably not on the list was conservative state representative Randy Fine, who had the support of Governor Ron DeSantis, despite not having an education background. It would appear on the surface that that may be the motive behind this. We'll learn more in the days ahead. WPTV political analyst Brian Crawley says the university system has never been under as close of a watch as it is now under the DeSantis administration. He fears politically motivated interference, if that's the case, could negatively impact Florida's ability to attract top educators. As it stands right now, it appears that all of the efforts that the Board of Trustees went through to come up with three finalists, they were on the verge of introducing the three finalists to the university community and have a number of events where they could people could see them. That has now stopped. And it sort of begs the question, what's the point of being on the Board of Trustees if any action you take, especially something as big as appointing a president, is going to be arbitrarily halted for political reasons. Stephanie Suskind, WPTV, News Channel 5. A note, the three FAU finalists before now include a Naval Academy superintendent, an FSU dean, and former chancellor in North Carolina State College System. Again, they're waiting in the wings. My guest this morning, Don Rothy, professor and president of the United Faculty of Florida FAU chapter, and Professor Christopher Robey, the VP of that same FAU chapter. Well, I believe that we're here now in this position because uh, the one of the candidates, a political appointee, did not make it to the finalist list. And I think that that combined with the anonymous report uh, that there was uh, demographic questions that went against what the Board of Governors deemed appropriate, that they halted the search. And as of last night, uh, the Chancellor Ray Rodriguez sent a letter of response to the chair, uh, Brad Levine of the Board of Trustees, and said that the he had appointed the Inspector General to conduct an entire investigation. And he said that he anticipates it will be fair and its determination will not be made in haste. Let's take one by one, um, um, Mr. Obey. Uh, we don't know because confidentiality laws don't allow us to know whether Representative Fine, who Ms. Uh, Rothy is referring to, whether he applied or not. There's an assumption that he may have. So number one, we don't know that. Two of the points that the chancellor keeps bringing up is a straw poll of the search committee. Is a straw poll of a search committee uh, to help them boil down the candidates out of line? Has it been done before? Is it abnormal for FAU to have done that? No, it's common practice and it's the search firm itself that did it. So mm -hmm. there's a sort of disconnect going on between what the search committee did and then what the search firm did itself for its own statistical purposes um, itself. But I'd like to return back to like, you're right, we don't necessarily know if Fine applied for it or not. 
But there's a larger pattern going on in Florida of failed searches at other universities itself. So this is not just a one-off, right? We had a failed presidential search at Florida Gulf Coast uh, back in 2022, which the same thing happened, and a similar failed Provo search at USF also, which then installed somebody after the fact. So this is the third actually failed search going on in Florida, which is selling, setting like a really disturbing trend for anybody who wants to apply for these jobs, that they're going to spend all this time and money to do so, but have no guarantee that there's going to be a clear and transparent process at work. Um, and in any moment at the last minute, somebody can come in and derail it for whatever uh, excuse that they offer. And do you, sir, believe it's politically motivated effort to install conservatives uh, there by Governor DeSantis and his supporters? Yeah, it, I can't think of any other reason, to be honest, uh, of why this would be an issue. These are common practices going on in searches itself. So it seems it's the flimsiest excuse to actually halt it. Uh, Ms. Rothy, speak to that. Uh, do you agree with that point of view? What do you think is going on here fundamentally? I do think that that is one of the, the, the fundamental problem. I really do. I believe that the general feel at the board of trustees is to have the best candidate for FAU. But I also do know from at least inferential hearings that one of the trustees also had preferred DeSantis's candidate. And we've seen others that are politically situated in the state who have also wrote out about fine was DeSantis's choice and that him not making the finalist list and critiques of that nature. And I just want to also return the, the, the latest response from the chancellor did not reference the straw poll at all. It was 100% referencing the, the survey. Did a questionnaire inappropriately ask gender related questions in your mind, ma'am, sir? No. no. Explain, because they, they, they're worried it did. Asked about personal pronoun use. Uh, did it mandate that you answered that survey? That's what we're talking about. Did it or didn't it? No, it did not. It was 100% voluntary. Sir? Yeah, no, same thing that Don said. Yeah, it's standard practice and there's no forcing of this to happen. What about conservatives who argue universities favor liberals? You hear the argument all the time and they could use a dose of conservatism, sir. Well, I mean, first of all, we have people, whatever their political stripe are objecting to this, right? The head of our board of trustees, who's no flaming liberal, uh, objects to what's going on in Tallahassee and the board of governors. Similarly, Dick Schmidt, um, you know, a wealthy patron of FAU also objects to it itself. So it seems pretty, there's a pretty unified voice here, right? That this is interference in terms of what they see better than I know, because I, I haven't been a part of the search process itself. And it's been shielded under the sunshine law now um, from, from us being aware. But by all accounts of them who have been on the process that it has been going well and uh, all according to practice. And again, this is a wide spectrum of political backgrounds. Why do people not affiliated with the university anyway? They didn't go there. They don't have students or loved ones who go there. Why should our wider audience care about this? What What is the import of what's going on here in your mind, sir? Well, I mean, in some ways, FAU is unique that it serves the first generation group of college students coming in. So anybody who has aspirations to higher education or educating their kids and having an affordable quality education, FAU is probably the best university in the state of Florida to do this. It's the most affordable and quality education, and we want to preserve it and represent our student body. We're a Hispanic serving institution. Um, which means it's predominantly 25% more of Hispanic students are there. So I think we are provide a really unique function in South Florida and in Florida as a whole, right, of providing access to a whole generation of students. Ms. Rothy, what are you concerned will be the fallout of this? Will it have a chilling effect? Are you worried about people wanting to apply, getting the broadest field of candidates? Does it, in your mind, have the potential to politicize this to a point where people say, I'll be hands off not only at FAU, but elsewhere in the system? I do believe that we are already seeing that happen. Mm -hmm. We are having candidates who do agree to come in uh, ask about this. And we've had some that I know across the state are saying, no, nope, I'm not, I can't do it. We are having shortages of applicants across the board. We are having faculty good, qualified, with years of dedicated service leaving the state solely because they are fearful at this point of what they do in their jobs and even just doing the basics of research 
and fa using facts in their teaching. So we see this chilling effect already occurring, and I can only imagine it getting worse and worse as time goes on. And as we sit here, the search is suspended. We don't know when it picks up again or what the outcome will be. Mr. Robey, final thought. Well, we hope it actually will continue as planned itself um, and nobody sort of comes in and swoops in with it. We want a fair search process. The people who are involved with the process deserve it, both the candidates and the people who served on the committee itself. So it's a real disservice to these people who gave their time uh, for this process. What what privately do other faculty members say uh, this impact could have for them as far as being at FAU or staying there? Current faculty, privately to you, Ms. Rothy? I know of a few that have privately spoken to me and they are on the job market and will be on the job market. I have others that say that if they could, they would retire in a heartbeat. Others are looking to retire and get out of academe altogether. So I think this is having a greater impact than, than what is imagined. Next up, the roundtable with Brian Crowley.